All right, we're going to try this with the destroyer. Uh, I don't know exactly how you pronounce this. Blyswak, Blysa, Blyslaka, Wicca. I don't. It's a Polish destroyer. This is actually was a real destroyer, and it was actually one of the uh, best armed destroyers ever time. Uh, what she was. In the beginning of the war, she had four, five, six, seven, seven guns, seven hundred twenty millimeter guns, which are a little under, a little under five inch, but uh, not too shabby. Sevens guns. I'm really surprised with the weight that they didn't put the one single up here and the double down there, or they could have just actually put uh, another double there unless they were worried about the firing arc maybe maybe it gave it a little bit more firing arc to have that one gun but anyways and when I go into these battles if you have them at all you go to your flags here you definitely put on this uh, this keeps you from just getting uh, somebody just sitting in blowing you up in one shot and I, I use I don't usually use it on battleships or heavy cruisers but light cruisers and destroyers if I have them I definitely definitely use them so we'll queue for battle and like I said I, I don't really like taking destroyers in to this scenario uh, it's not too bad if there's one or two of you hopefully there's only one of you there's two of you it's really good if you either help the cruisers or have a cruiser help you or if you work together as two destroyers like on the transports and stuff like that you can take out that you can get rid of that destroyer hopefully and they don't eat you up too much first and uh, I've had some good games where I beat him down real quick and I've had other games where he tore me up but if you can get rid of that dude first then you can just sit there and shoot the transports all day. Then there's people that easily decide they want to help you kill the transports, which really it's really stinky because once you're clear, uh, you get an achievement called Shark Among Shrimp, which is kind of cool. I've got that quite a few times when people don't go out of their way to help you all of a sudden at the end of the Now they've got me and this other destroyer both on the north side. Helen Atlanta, oh my god. Again, somebody brought in an Atlanta. Uh, And they're not answering me. Hmm. So, unless Moss is going to head that day. There's the Atlanta right there. Whoops. Yeah, I was close to hitting that destroyer, but I didn't hit him. And I didn't lead enough on that destroyer. They got him. 
the Wyoming is going to be out in a minute here. So I think Atlanta is going to come help me. We'll see. She's sailing south. We also got that battleship though. So I'm going to kick on the speed. I'm going to get around the corner here. And I might actually evade detection. If I don't run into the beach. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So far she hasn't shot at me, so come on, come on, come on, come on. While I'm burning up this engine speed here. Okay. Now I know she sees Atlanta. Hopefully she won't shoot Atlanta. So I'm going to hug the shoreline a little bit and hopefully, like I said, I can... S now actually this gun emplacement is shooting at me, believe it or not. Which is kind of irritating. And I'm nowhere in that guy's range. I'm going to turn in here so I don't get stuck on the uh, white line here. Oh, I'm in his range. Good. See if I can set him on fire. Keep an eye out. Okay, he's shooting at Atlanta. He's not shooting at me. Which is good and bad. Okay, so there's my destroyer. And I can't select him, but he's way the heck behind that hill, which is nice. Slow down a little bit here. I think I'm out of his gun arc. Or if not, he's not shooting at me. They don't, they don't make these so where they can shoot at two targets at the same time. Which is probably a really good thing. If I smoke up here. Oh, good. The Atlanta killed him. Nice. That is super nice. The Atlanta killed him. Uh, he got a little bit of damage, but it didn't seem like it gave him much. So I'm going to let him kill the ships.
Oh, good. The DD, the other DD, and the battleships up there. I'll kick my speed on and there's a cruiser around here and there's a DD around here but it looks like uh, the shorn horse the other looks like the uh, battleship swung around there yeah the shorn horse good job as long as you don't get hit by the torps and stuff And it looks like one that battleship and that destroyer ought to be able to take those uh, turkey balls out of there. Now I need to help this shorn horse with that destroyer. Now how did that freaking... How did that shell hit me? 11 kilometers... And I was swerving, and the frickin' shell hit me. Like, come on. That's what, that's what I'm talking about, wondering if the shit's rigged sometimes. I gotta watch out because this gal. Good, we got him. Okay. Mm. Now, one thing I could do is I could get up here and I could probably torp some freaking. Uh, Oh yeah, you little turds are gonna fucking... Mm -hmm, you're gonna shoot right at me. And he's gonna hit me. Oh, I don't know how he didn't. Really don't know how he didn't. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go island hiding here a little bit. Got here, Helena. Helena's a pretty good ship. Now, what's funny is if I get over here, I can put some smoke in front of this puppy here because sometimes they shoot at this puppy because they know this one can heal you. Yeah, see, he's hitting me. How is he hitting me and I'm in smoke? There you go. Oh, I guess I'm not in smoke. Yeah, I should be in smoke. And you'd think out of all those ships with you laying torpedoes down that somebody would get hit somewhere with something.
back up a little bit. Mm. Yeah, see, and he would have ditched. I think that one would have caught him, but ah, that's funny. That made that made that battleship turn sideways because of them torps. That's cool. Queen Elizabeth. And we got Atlanta coming over here. I ain't going to have smoke for her, but I can kind of island hide. And I got torpedoes. Let's see. Let's stick them right there. And I don't have smoke for 53 seconds. And the other Atlanta's putting some rounds in on her. And she's gone. And we got Colorado. Which I've hardly ever seen Colorado do that business, what she's doing there. Which is pretty interesting. Oh, because we got 2,000 over 2,000, so we ain't going to get the chance to sink that puppy. Yep, I didn't even think I was going to get the chance to put some more rounds on it, get some more XP. So we did pretty good on that one, because sometimes, like I said, you get in the, d d the destroyers on this game, and it just eats you up. But we did good. We got all five stars. That was nice. I let the Atlanta get his uh, shrimp... Shark among shrimp, which was cool. Go back to port. So, like I said, it's pretty cool when you get some people on here that know what they're doing. And everybody can work pretty good, and you might lose a ship, but sometimes you don't. Everybody lives. And we'll see you on the next one.